<laughs> Everyone's gone crazy. Everyone should get out of here. Well, you'll never wake up. But I was right, my precious. <laughs> you are invincible. <laughs> precious? What's his precious? A miracle machine. Definitely not impossible. I think he's referring to that machine. What a drunkard. Hmm. Oh, goodness. The smell of alcohol. Maid Fräulein, please allow me to fan the fumes away with my wings. Oh, excellent. Please fan them away for me, too. Certainly. I've checked the surroundings, but there's no one else here. Isn't that strange? The Fatui is a big organization, but he's the only one left at this camp. What's more, we didn't even see him the last time we were here. Even the larger gentleman from the first time is missing. I think they must be hiding somewhere. As for why they may be hiding, I'm afraid we'll have to ask him. But he's as drunk as Tone Def Bard! <sighs> Should we wait for him to sober up? Cleanse him with the Holy Spring of Punishment. Main Fräulein means to splash him with water. Ooh, sounds like a good idea! Let's try. Hey, he opened his eyes! Uh, huh? Hey, are you one of the Fatui? Can you tell us what happened here and what that machine is for? <laughs> ha! Fatui! Uh, those blockheads from the administration will regret it now! <laughs> That's what you get for rejecting my research and forcing me to... Forcing me to... To conduct my research on this deserted island! <laughs> my precious! My precious! <laughs> Why is he crying? Looks like he has a lot of pent-up emotions. You mocked me! And my precious invention! You... You don't know anything about the future! Only my invention can help us conquer the world! <laughs> the idiots! Such... Idiots! <laughs> Ow! Don't hit me! I won't blow up the lab again. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. This man's gone insane. There's no way we can communicate with him. He wasn't like this when we first met him. It looks like the effects have grown worse, to the point of driving him mad. <laughs> My manuscript. My manuscript. Only that can... Can save. <laughs> Manuscript? Where is it? Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. Official, don't yell at him. <sighs> then I'll. <sighs> Let me try. A uh, kind sir, look at me. Now tell me, where did you hide your manuscript? No! No, don't force me to write a report! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> uh, he's completely lost in his own imagination! Allow me. Hmm. Please excuse me. <laughs> oh! My butt! Oh. My brain is finally starting to work again. It's... it's not a mushy mess anymore. Can you tell me where you put the manuscript? The manuscript. The manuscript... is in the crack over there. Oh, finally! Otherwise I was gonna have to blast some of my loudest rock and roll in his ears. Kazuo 
hesitated for a long time before making a move. He's so nice. Everyone, let's search the stone cracks nearby for the manuscript. Congratulations! We found the key to solving the problem. Let me see. Hmm. Just as I thought. This machinery, named cognitive mimicry, is capable of altering the state of people's brains. It was invented by the researcher we met earlier. His name is Persikov. According to the manuscript, the Fatui officials did not support Persikov's research. They believed he had taken the wrong path. But Persikov insisted on putting his machine to use. In order to achieve that, he disassembled the machine and used his connections to transport the parts to this deserted island. How did they find this island? <sighs> the Fatui's intelligence network is not to be underestimated. Persikov was dead set on carrying out his experiments on this island. Most of his subjects were junior Fatui soldiers who all signed a waiver beforehand. It looks like they really thought this machine would benefit the Fatui. How does the machine work? That's most likely top secret. The manuscript didn't reveal any details, but Persikov did mention that the machine was modeled after the power of a god. Does that mean... There's a god connected to these dreamlike mirages, and the Fatui found a way to research it? Clearly. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to reproduce the god's power. Anyway, Persikov's experiment did not go as planned. The machine broke down just days after it was activated. They tried to fix it, but... The technologically illiterate Fatui soldiers completely ruined the machine. Even its most important component of all, the crystalline cores, got ejected and disappeared. A testament to the importance of maintenance in all aspects of life. I believe we can all learn something from this. Persikov may be a mad scientist, but he didn't want to see his subordinates suffer. Besides, if he didn't solve the problem, he would end up going insane as well. As a last resort, Persikov went out on his own to look for the cores. But he was just a sickly researcher, unfit for the task. He had to give up. Then, Persikov went searching for the soldiers who had gone mad and strayed from the group, and took them to a hidden cave. I think that was where they were at the day we arrived on this island. Persikov was taking a strong Fatui soldier somewhere. Yes. It took Persikov all of his strength to get all the missing soldiers into the cave. He tried to snap them out of it with music and poetry, but nothing worked. We came here once, but there was no one around. Come to think of it, that must have been the day Persikov was busy gathering the soldiers into the cave. There's good news and bad news written on the last few pages. The good news is, Persikov managed to figure out the location of the crystalline cores by piecing together the snippets of information he could get from the delirious soldiers. The bad news is, Persikov failed to revive them and eventually succumbed to the device's influence himself. The last few pages of the manuscript are just unintelligible drunken scribbles. <sighs> it appears that the responsibility for this issue now falls to my retainers and I. There's a map in the manuscript. The marking should indicate the locations of the crystalline cores. We've got no choice but to find the crystalline cores now! <laughs> <laughs> 